Hey, what's up? We are back and we are doing some fishing in the old Lund. Uh, so far, so good. The patch seems to have worked. I've only been out that one time on that lake just to see how it went. And um, yeah, so now we're out on a, a, it's not a new lake per se. I fished it in, recent, or in past years, but I didn't shoot a video out here. I don't know if I even shot one of your last year, the year before. I think I shot a rock bass video. It was the last video I shot in this lake. And this morning, we're out here looking for walleyes and smallies. Sp specifically smallies if we can find some. That'd be nice. A lot of nice walleyes in this lake too. Uh, going to be <clears throat> throwing either a slip bobber and a leech or pitching a lindy rig. Uh, I don't, you know, you control... But if I can get away with just casting it at these fish in the general area, that's what I prefer to do. So, without th further ado, I'm going to grab probably my Lindy rod and start casting a fish and see what we can catch. Just dropped a lindy rig down here. Oh, I think we got a fish. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna give him just a second here. Got him. What do we got? Pike? Fighting like a walleye down here. What do we got? Oh, it's like a walleye. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Yeah, there we go. Instantly. There we go. Nice, chunky fish too. Creek chub instantly, 18 and a half inches long. It's a solid fish. Be a really good eater fish, might I add. Um, I wasn't expecting to get a fish this fast. I think we've been out here. We've been on this spot for like 15 minutes just looking around for fish. But literally dropped the Lindy over the side of the boat with that creek chub. And that creek chub just darting in around the weeds. Fish came out, instantly hit it awesome stuff you guys we're gonna let them go oh yeah got him be a smallie or a walleye because largemouth jump smallies just dig to the bottom I'm gonna say smallie look like a nice fish too just seen a kind of a flash of it Nonetheless. Huh. Ah. See ya. 
that, you roll that hook out of the back of their throat and you don't have to worry about them getting deep hooked and dying. A little tiny blood, but that's just from the hook back there. Just look at that, probably a one pounder. Got picked up by a fish here. Got him. Another walleye. We're about 15 feet of water here on the edge of this little weed line. Another 18 inch ring. Alright. Got a walleye, a bass, and a smallmouth. Or a walleye, smallmouth, and then another walleye here, guys. Get this fish ate a creek chub, a very small creek chub mind you I fish with some bigger ones and they just don't seem to want to eat that bait oh, I almost lost a finger there seventeen and a half inches long I apologize I forgot my tripod today guys so that's what we're doing Lindy rig and a creek chub There's a bite. Right next to the boat. That was awesome. Another walleye. Right next to the boat. Slip bobber. He come up and whack that leech. Oh. All these fish are perfect eater size fish too, mind I might have had it. Alright, the old slip bobber and a leech. 17 and 3 quarter inch walleye. I know I'm shooting a lot of most of species videos. Um, but you know what, who doesn't like to catch everything? I mean we can't, can't really complain about that. Uh, I think three walleyes now and a smallmouth. Uh, two walleyes have came on a Lindy casting a creek chub. One on a slip bobber and a leech. Smalley came on a slip bobber and a leech. But you know what? Multi species, nothing wrong with that. New lake. I'm loving it. We're just kind of dragging along here and got bit. Fighting like a walleye. Oh, it's a pike. Pike let out some air bubbles. That's kind of strange. Ooh. Hmm. A lot of bait fishing in the weeds here, guys. That's why all these fish are here. They're relating to these weeds. There's minnows in the water, or up, up in the weeds, which means there's predator fish up in the weeds. You stink, buddy. Go back in the water. Oh, gosh. There we go. Got a bite, got a bite. Got him. This looks like a nice fish. That's a walleye, I'll bet. There's a smolly. Oh, no, that's a walleye. Oh, yeah. Oh. Another one chalked up on the slip bobber, you guys. <laughs> Aggressive. Can't see I've caught any real. 
real big fish, but they've all been nice. Nice eaters anyway. Yo, all right. Whoop, there we go. Left my tripod at home. Guys, I apologize for that again. There we go. That guy, shablam. Mm-hmm. Another, I don't know, this is probably 17 and a half. 17 exactly. Just another nice eater walleye. Got that one on the slip bobber again. Um, you know, it's pretty calm out today. Especially for this big lake, I think the wind's blowing five miles an hour. Bright, sunny, not the best recipe for walleye fishing on most lakes in general. I think you guys will agree with me on that. Um, clear water, sun, calm, big no-no. We're catching some fish today, though. Uh, that's what I'm really liking. I, the first one I caught in like 22 feet of water, I, I think 22 to 24 feet. These last ones now are, have all been in 12 and a half to 15 feet. There's just a... Uh, like a rock spine that goes down the lake here and there's weeds all around this rock spine and these fish are right up against the weeds they're not right in the thick weeds but they're on the fringe um, of those weeds so they're there they're ambushing bait fish okay so yeah there we go another fish yo what's up so ooh, there you go you can see me pretty good I think so fished a different lake this morning, um, didn't get to fish, only got to fish until about 11 o'clock here. I'm gonna go in the town. My daughter is playing in the parade today, so I'm gonna cut my, my trip down. <clears throat> Hopefully, you guys don't get sick. Boat's rocking. Anyway, new lake today. Um, still a multi-species video. Uh, came out hoping to get some smallies and some walleyes. Smallies didn't have that much size. I got like a one pounder maybe on a slip bobber. There's a, it's a big body of water and I didn't have a lot of time to cut it down. But definitely found the walleyes. Uh, they were a lot shallower than I expected them to be. I figured they would be in that 18 to 25 foot range because this time, I mean this time of the year, they're, they're all over the place. You're gonna find them in six feet and you're gonna find them in 36 feet. But here today, um, found them mostly in like that 12 to 15 foot range. I think we caught four on video or five. Um, two came, I think maybe we caught four because two came on a, a Lindy rig next to the boat and a Creek Chub and two came on a slip bobber rod. So as always, seven foot two tuned up custom rods, Apex Elite, Ultralight, it was my slip bobber rod today. And then my seven foot six Apex Pro was my Lindy rigging rod today. Um, I, you know what, this Apex Pro is, pro, I mean, it's probably my favorite Lindy rigging rod. I mean, seven foot six, um, really good power. Tip of it is really nice, really soft tip, you know. Um, and then as it goes down down the rod, it loads up real nice, you know. Then then when you're Lindy rigging, you're lifting that bait up. You see the tip of the rod. You can see that slow. You know subtle bounce whether it's a fish or if it's just a hold and it's a weed set the hook get a really good hook set with this rod um yeah leeches on the slip bobber creek chubs on the lindy rig we were just casting around uh there's a point of, and i didn't find nothing on like open main lake structure because this lake has a whole bunch of islands out in the center of it uh, or humps i mean i was fishing points off of the shoreline so uh, yeah Anyway, you guys Hope you enjoyed this video. The Lund is back in action. I'm pretty happy about it I'm not gonna lie though in the back of the boat by the plug. I see a little bit of water coming through I'm not sure what it's from. I put my finger there and there's a soft spot in the in the fiberglass kind of But the outside seems solid. So I don't know If it ain't one thing it's another if you're seeing this, I'm happy because my GoPro, GoPro died on me again. Something I gotta do some upgrading. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.